Once upon a time, in a sunny forest filled with chirping birds and rustling leaves, lived a clever fox named Freddy. Freddy was known throughout the forest for his wit and charm, always finding a way to get what he wanted. One bright morning, as Freddy was strolling through the woods, he spotted a beautiful black crow perched high in a tree. Her name was Clara. Clara had found a delicious piece of cheese and was holding it proudly in her beak. The cheese gleamed in the sunlight and Freddy's mouth watered at the sight. Oh, what a lovely day it is, thought Freddy, his eyes glinting with mischief. That cheese would make it even better. Freddy knew he had to be smart to get the cheese from Clara. He sat down beneath the tree and called out in his sweetest voice, Good morning, Clara. What a beautiful bird you are. Your feathers shine like the finest silk and your eyes sparkle like the stars. Clara, flattered by Freddy's words, looked down at him and puffed up her feathers with pride. Freddy continued, I have heard that you have the most magnificent voice in all the forest. I would be honored if you would sing a song for me. Clara, delighted by the praise, forgot all about the cheese. She opened her beak to sing, caw, caw. But as soon as she did, the cheese fell from her beak and tumbled down, 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 right into Freddy's waiting paws. Thank you, Clara, said Freddy with a grin, taking a big bite of the cheese. Your voice is indeed beautiful, but your kindness has made my day even better. Clara realized too late that she had been tricked. She flew down from her perch and looked at Freddy with a mix of disappointment and amusement. You are very clever, Freddy, she said. But remember, tricking others will not always bring happiness. Freddy nodded, enjoying the cheese. I promise, Clara. Next time I will ask nicely. And so, Clara flew off with a lesson learned and Freddy finished his snack, knowing that sometimes cleverness must be paired with honesty. From that day on, Freddy and Clara remained friends, always remembering the day the clever fox outwitted the proud crow. And they all lived happily ever after.